It is said that 3 a.m. is when most paranormal and scary events happen, and as these videos show, it might just be better to go to bed early instead. Number 10. To see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick so Two friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night. Ocean on the other side of the wall, they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. In the morning, and it's um, pretty fucking creepy. What the f was, was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. What the f***, man? But now they're freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Oh, girl, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, what the f***, man? Nah, what the f***? At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. Number 9. A ghost hunting channel called Holy Walkers is exploring an abandoned building at 3 a.m. to catch some spirits on video. The first thing they notice is a discarded bike and a pile of clothing in the front yard. So either people occupy this building, or something extremely terrible happened here. They keep thinking they hear voices, but nothing is really getting picked up on video. One thing they do record though is a noise that sounds like a firework or a shot. I think the sound might be paranormal, because it's hard to tell its exact location, which means it might be residual energy from a bad event. After a bit of searching, they find a discarded round on the floor. While they are pondering what could have happened here, they hear another phantom shot and all go running. Either someone was trying to scare them off, or something seriously paranormal is there. Number 8. It's late at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman is. Soon the cameraman realizes their female friend is no longer with them, and as they head upstairs they see her getting dragged into a room. They try to go back downstairs, but there's someone blocking their path, who appears to be possessed, with a group trapped inside the house. They are eventually each picked off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again, and though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real or a skit. Number 7. A YouTuber named The Legends TV is exploring a tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stenciled message on the wall. It's a rant about someone who doesn't want to take their medicine or live in a hospital anymore. Perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here. To further support this theory, they find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty water. And tucked under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I know, this could be a trap set by someone who is not right in the head. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall, almost like someone's scalp. Number 6. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric waits until 3am to communicate with the other side at a cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit box and waits to be contacted. They soon sense the presence of a lonely ghost and a single word comes across their equipment. Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. Japan! Japan. It's the Japan. It's the Japan! The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. What they're jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now. But curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. 
<laughs> More spirits seem to find Eric, and by the end of the video, an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. <laughs> I think this voice is real, because the spirit box only gets a little bit of activity at first, and finishes with a chorus of voices. Number 5. A YouTuber named Just Cryptic is on a mission to fully explore an abandoned school that's ready to fall to the ground. Look how close he comes to dropping through the floor without realizing it. Oh, snap. Honestly, dude, I haven't he doesn't fully notice how wide the crack is until he's already well past. Rubble on the floor could conceal more holes the same size or bigger, so no step is truly safe. Worse still, they keep thinking they hear noises coming closer and closer, until finally something is in the same room with them. They all pause and slowly turn around. It's too dark to tell for sure, but for a full 10 seconds they swear they see a hooded figure in the shadows. Let me know if you can too. If this was a person watching them, they chose not to advance, instead remaining in the far corner until just Cryptic slowly turns around and takes his leave. Number 4. Kashal Singh is performing a stunt in India called the Dry Bones Ritual. For those who aren't familiar, this is where you conjure a demonic spirit who will try to track you in your own home. If you can hide without getting caught, you are spared. But first, you need to get the spirit's permission to play. To do this, Kashal has to light a match, and if it stays lit for 15 seconds, he may proceed. As you can see, the match lasts exactly 15 seconds. 13, 14, 15. Kashal now has the demon's attention and may continue. The next step is to acknowledge the demon's presence and welcome it to play. Watch this part and tell me if you would be brave enough to say this three times in the dark by candlelight. Because I'm not sure if I would dare. I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my house. Come now. Hours pass in the darkness until there's only 30 minutes left to 3 a.m., at which point he will be safe. But just when he is beginning to doubt the ritual, he is discovered. <sighs> At this point, you're supposed to make a run out of the house as fast as you can, but Kashal is too afraid to move. He makes the mistake of staying put and the candle extinguishes. Tell me if you think this part is the work of a spirit or not. Number 3. A YouTuber named Bros God Game is convinced that his local graveyard is haunted, but the only way to find out is to grab a friend and record there at 3am. They haven't even entered the main courtyard before they hear something approach. But if you guys see anything that... What was that? Smoke follows them throughout their exploration, even though there are no flames at any point in the video. After following a dirt path for a while, they come across a broken rope suspended from a gnarled old tree. It's pretty obvious to me that it must have snapped under someone's weight, though where they are is not clear. A short while later, one of them thinks they feel something grab their arm and quickly hurry out. Certainly a smart choice. Number 2. It's 3am and a YouTuber by the name of KG Talik is ready to summon the spirit of Bloody Mary. He turns out the lights and calls for her, with nothing but a plastic hair pick on the counter to defend himself with. Upon the third recitation of her forbidden name, he sees movement from the corner of his eye. Something on the other side slaps and scratches at the shower curtain and then promptly vanishes. He shows the bottom of the tub to prove it's really empty. It takes all of his courage to stay in the room and resume the ritual, but he doubles down and says her name three times again. This time, she is even madder than before. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What the? Yo! The shower curtain rustles as if someone is waiting on the other side, but when he pulls it back, once again, no one is to be found. Before we get to number one, a YouTuber named Dre Nation is walking home at 3 a.m. in his native country of Jamaica. He begins to worry about what could happen to him at such a late hour, so he starts recording a video to make himself feel safer. 
The road he is on is not well lit at all except for the occasional street lamp, and most of the video is nothing but darkness. Few people are up to any good at this hour and every passing car fills him with dread. After marching through the night for some time, Dre senses something watching him from afar. He spins around and thinks he sees something, though I don't think it shows up on camera. Let me know if you see something under the street lamps in the distance. So back on from the... Look what's that? Soon he hears a pack of stray dogs barking from far away. I'm so f***ing scared. It sounds like they are gaining on him, but it's impossible to tell how many of them there are, or how close they are because he is now fleeing down the darkest part of the road. He doesn't want to trip over something and snap an ankle while running full speed in the pitch black night, so he isn't fast enough and eventually they catch up with him. Thankfully, the dogs turn out to be too small to do much of anything, but that doesn't stop them from giving him an awful fright. He eventually composes himself and completes the rest of the way home.